Hello and welcome to part four. I'm Box of Demons and we're out in the wild, in the call of the wild, the hunter. Now you may remember we've looked at this before and it turns out I had to have a little look around on Google. It was actually slightly bugged. You had to take more than one photograph of some of these footprints in order for to be able to get it to move on. So if you remember in the last part, Richard Hope set up a camp here. He'd gone missing. And we knew that there were some footprints and tracks here, but we weren't sure whether this is black bear or whether these were teenagers or tourists or even a mass murderer out here in the woods. So I am going to progress here, tooled up with weapon in hand. And it looks like the grass is fairly flat here, but that might just be because the quad bike's up ahead. So there are some bear prints further up. The majority of these prints on the ground do seem to be human. Paraboots or hiking boots. And no more tracks, huh? Well, just leave it for now, and I'll see what I can come up with. This'll help, though. Thanks. Damn, I was hoping it was going to be some hot girls in the 20s who'd gone skinny dipping. You know, they'd gone in the lake with a couple of buck and fuck and whatever he's called, duck. I don't know what other redneck names there are. I was going to throw their clothes in the in the drink and then, you know, get the get. It. <clears throat> anyway, uh... Let's have a look. Why don't we go hunting down a white tail or a black tail? Go for a clean hit in the dark. Travel to Lake Cheetah, harvest a white tailed deer or black deal. Black tailed deer at night. So we get, it looks like we're going to do a little bit of night hunting. Or we can travel to Balmort to find three footprints. Let's travel and have a look at some night hunting. So we are going to have to find, a, is it a camp or an outpost in order that we can go to sleep? That is going to cost us some money, but hey ho. You can see there's a little bit of traveling to be done. So I think there is a fast travel system. Now that we've actually found some of these camps, we should be able to move. Where are we? Outpost. Fast travel. Let's see how long the loading times are on this. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we're going to have to get ourselves a new quad bike. Then we'll go to sleep. And we'll head out into the forest and see if we can do some hunting. My name's Burke, and I like to... I think we'll go for a tactical green this time. Doesn't seem to cost us anything at this stage. I don't know whether that's because we're noobs, or whether we bought some of the DLC and it's a little, little thank you present. Again, at this stage, I'm not sure whether there's night vision in this game or whether there's thermal scopes or anything like that. I'm sure we will find out. I don't want to look too much into the wiki or Google too much because it takes away kind of the surprise and the enjoyment element knowing what's in and what's not in. So let's come in here and go to sleep. I do wish, actually, while I'm changing the time here, I do wish there was a bit more simulation side, as in we had to consider hydration and uh, medical supplies, maybe fly spray, you know, bug spray, that sort of thing. Um, in multiplayer, that, that you could see the other people's backpacks with their supplies, or see the supplies on the back of the quad bikes, things like that. It would just add a, another level, I think, to the immersion. Okay, we'll need, we'll need the light, the headlight, which, that's really nice. That's really nicely done. Right, so let's get on the quad bike, let's go out into the dark, up to this lake, I think it was, was it Cheetah Lake, and see if I can get ourselves a couple of kills with the deers. Again, I must emphasize, I love animals, I really do, and I would never, ever hunt an animal, hurt an animal, do anything. Um, I'm only going to say this once in this video, but fuck halal, it's disgusting and vile for a fake religion and a fake god. All religion is bollocks. Name your god and bleed the freak. You will hear me mention that again in this game. It is just a game, and I never would kill animals intentionally. Right, so here we are. And it looks like I don't want to be heading east. Is it east I want to be heading? I don't really want to go too much through the forest at this stage. I think we should be taking one of the paths here. It is a little bit easier, especially in the dark. I don't want to get the quad bike damaged and then have to walk for miles. So let's get down there. Again, if this takes too long, I'll cut some of this out in the actual video. The black-tailed deer are some 
surprisingly scarce in Valmont for this time of year. Now Hope seems to think some black bears are passing through and scaring off the black tails. Could be true, but it's hard to know for sure. If you come by any bear tracks in Belmont, let me know. So here we are at the side of the lake. Now we're going to be looking for either a black tail or a white tailed deer at this location. And I can't imagine they're really going to be hanging around the outsides of the uh, of the lake here. Let's just have a quick look again the information on this screen. That's not the one we want, is it? It's... White-tailed deer or a black tail at night. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, well, I guess we need to get out our hunting gear and some of the lures because I can't imagine the deers are going to be around the lake unless they're coming for a drink. Oh, I love the sound in this game. Didn't they used to get those as a kid? It sounded like a cow. You used to get there like at the caravan parks and you used to go. Lots of animals you can hear, but I can't hear any deer calls or deer mating calls. So I guess what we need to do here is we need to stay within the vicinity and find an area where we've got, it's quite open and we've got good line of sight in order to be able to see them when they're coming in and almost like getting a bit of a camouflage but of course the thing is they can see better than we can at night put on some links deodorant I think that gets rid of our actual scent let's just see if we get any calls coming back when we're using this thing I hear lots of animals over to my right I guess as you get further into the game you'll start to recognise some of the animal calls as yet nothing beautiful though this really is beautiful even at night time it looks amazing of course any animals coming in from this side we've got no chance because they're, they're going to know we're here before we even spot them it's a beautiful kind of misty fog in the forest as well at the minute Sound is beautiful. This is not a bad position actually because we would be able to see them coming up through the valley here. Wow, this is atmospheric. If you haven't put the game in full screen, you're probably not going to get the most benefit because I'm on a 21 by 9 widescreen monitor. So you will get black bars in YouTube, but believe you me, it's very immersive here. So we're not actually getting any calls back here. And I can't see any movement in the dark. Nothing. What I do know from looking at a little bit of other people's footage is that there are rare animals as well. Uh, almost like prize trophies. Again, it feels a little bit weird calling them trophies, killing animals. But, you know, I'll try and not keep saying that during this series. But I just want you to know that's where my head's at. It's just a game. Um, there are rare and exotics that are much more difficult to find. And many of these animals do behave quite realistically. They can probably sense us up to 250 meters away. They'll see us before we even see them. And what I need to be aware of is as well is that the wind is blowing to the left, which means our scent is going to be blowing down across that river. So it does say that these deer are here at this location. They could be at the far end. They could be moving. They could be resting. I guess that's all part of hunting. So what I might do is I might stay here for a little bit and then possibly move around the left hand bank and see if we can see anything. 
I don't think that's the actual deer musk smell. I think that actually um, hides our scent. I think that's the theory behind that. Very atmospheric. Here, an owl over to the right. And it sounds almost like doves or partridge around the lake over to my right. I think what we might do is we might push up a little bit around this side because we're really not going to see any of them here in the thicket of these trees unless we literally walk upon them. And they'll hear us coming 250, 300 meters out before we even get there. You see, we're going into High Lake there. Our objective is, this, is it Chila? Not Cheetah Lake. Chila Lake is our objective. So maybe we should push around a little bit left. Of course, looking at the bar at the bottom, our scent is being blown all the way down there. Across the actual lake. Is anybody else getting a Skyrim vibe with the music right now? <laughs> this is reminding me of Skyrim. Let's see if we can see anything across the lake here. Nothing at all. I don't know whether the game takes into account how many times I'm using these deer calls. Maybe that's unrealistic. Maybe too many calls too often is... Oh, we know there's an owl. <laughs> this is not an owl lure, is it? <laughs> Nothing. See, they could be up in the trees anyway as soon as I come out of cover. That's going to blow it. I think we definitely need to go along that left-hand bank. It's very peaceful. I'm actually quite enjoying this being out here on my own. I really am looking forward to doing some co-op. I've just got to persuade my friend Stu, or Saxon, to get the game and get boots on the ground here and enjoy it with me. I know one of them already said to me they don't want to take part in a game that kills animals, and I get that completely. I understand that. It just is a game, and it just is a different experience. Now, I agree with one of these said people who said, yeah, we keep buying all these games, we get Insurgency, we get uh, uh, many, many other games. We play them for a little bit, and then we get bored of them. But the thing is, if it's a good quality game, you will come back to it, like Escape from Tarkov. I play that to death no, for a week I or so, and then I don't. Tracks earlier, close to where you're at right now. I'll send the coordinates. And then I'll actually go back and play some more again. I think that's the sign of a good quality game. Right, well, he sent me some tracks, even though I can't see anything. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to keep using the, this lure and push further up here, around the banking. Actually, getting up on that hill might be a good advantage point. We've got plenty of time before the night is over. We have to do this while it's night time. I think we've got about another three hours to do this. I hope you're not uh, bored of this. It's hard to make this game interesting. You're either going to love the slower... Well, not really quite tactical at this stage, but the lower, slower pace of this game is not going to be for everybody, but this really is my type of game. Daisy, Escape from Tarkov, things like that. And then occasionally, ever so occasionally, a little bit of the action with Insurgency. And I am really enjoying the virtual reality aspect as well of Contractors VR at the moment. But hey-ho, we push on further into the woods and further around the lake, Chila Lake on our right. Now... Is that a deer? Again, this is going to come with experience. I'm sure at some point, but that sounds like it's over to my right. You'll find coyotes all over the reserve, so they're not the most difficult to hunt. 
They're pack animals, so they respond well to collars, but they can also get aggressive when alerted. So be careful. So I'm probably not going to take the coyotes on then on my own. That'll probably be when I've got somebody else with me. I really hope the 4K resolution brings out that fog that's wafting over the lake. It is beautiful. Really beautiful. Let's get down a little bit on the shore here. Yeah. Making lots of noise, as you can see at the bottom right, and my visibility is obviously bad. Animals can see much better in the dark than they can in the daytime. But what I'm really trying to do now is just get a call back. Our scent is going to be wafting directly over there. So we may head back up the bank here. Chances are they're going to be on the other side, but I think if I go running around there, they're going to hear me, they're going to be alerted. Maybe I should have brought the... Now is that a deer? Anybody who's got more experience, let me know in the comments box below. Is that a deer? Is that a musk deer? Could be anything. I'm not that up on this as yet. And have I actually got the right weapon in order to be able to do this efficiently? You actually get an integrity score out of 100%. That's how clean. And if you get 100%, it means the animal didn't suffer at all. And that's really what we want to be aiming for. But it doesn't look like we're going to have much luck here. So I may end that as part four. Please, please do let me know in the comments box whether you would like me to keep continuing with this series. I'm enjoying it, but if nobody else is really that interested, then I'll, I'll just play it offline and enjoy it myself. You could thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell symbol. It will help a tiny channel. I'll always be honest with the games that I play. Many of the bigger channels get paid to leave their comments out or stupid over the top screaming and shouting. I think we're a little bit past that scene. But anyway, I've been Boxer Demons here at Chila Lake looking for a black tail and a white tail deer and not having much luck. Maybe, just maybe, we can find one in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I shall see you, oops, in the forest or on the forest. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.